Hey guys, Brickio here. In this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about my thoughts on the Comic-Con panel that went down two days ago regarding our beloved show. So, um, the panel included Tommy, Brent, Vincent, and Kelly. Um, I, no, it was just those three. Um, and maybe some other people. I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm still waiting for the full um, the full conference to be released on YouTube, but they haven't done that yet, so I'm just kind of going off of what people said about it. So it sounds like um, we're getting a four-episode special to get to the big 100 episode, um, which is kind of weird, which means, and that that includes the pilots, which is how they get the 100 number because really that would only be episode 98 which i think is kind of weird because it's weird to like celebrate 100 episodes when you know the episode title is says episode 98 so i'm wondering if they won't um have the episode numbers in there which then brings up the question when they do go back to a full season will they start on episode 95 or will they start on 101 or will they start on 99 you know they could do whatever so but it's cool they're doing something to celebrate um tommy said later that the four episodes are totaling 88 minutes which basically just means they're all 22 minutes um, but then there was some talk i guess of there were also two specials which are not included in the four episode special so that's interesting. Um, it makes me think that maybe we're not getting a full season uh, next year, like a proper season 10, or just getting specials. Um, however, even with those two specials and those 88 minutes, that only totals up 176 minutes, assuming the two specials are 44 minutes each. Um, and it was said in the conference that there would be six plus hours of Ninjago content next year um, which basically means we might see a eight episode season or you know some episode count around there probably eight because they did that with season three so it wouldn't be super weird but uh we'll see you know um and then there was obviously the the big the clip about um what was it? It was Jay. Um, well, it started out Jay proposing to Kai, but then, you know, he's just practicing. And then Kai's like, no, do it this way. And cocky Kai fashion, and Jay calls him out for being cocky. And then Dareth walks in, and all clueless that Jay and Nia were ever a thing, which is kind of funny. Um, will you be my yin to my, or will you be the yin to my yang? Was the sort of, like, catchphrase. So I'm thinking um, that might be, like, the name of that special because i feel like the wet jay and mia's wedding is going to be a special rather than included in a season just how much they're sort of isolating that one event and that doesn't really fit with the whole oni thing so i think it might be a special and like you know they released this picture um, which shows the jay and mia water symbols and the yin to the yang so i don't know what they'd call it but it would probably be something to do with yin and yang um like ninjago yin and yang but it'll probably be better than that because that's a dumb name um but yeah so a lot of people have been talking about how that scene took place in the old monastery so it might be part of the flashback because there were also rumors about how the the big 100 is going to be a sort of a time travel thing and we're going to get old sets um, i think personally that time travel thing would be really cool and it would allow them to sort of finish the time twins story arc because that hasn't really been resolved yet so if they can do that bring back old sets and sort of re you know introduce those older sets and let um, newer fans get them that would be great it would solve a lot of problems in one quick one quick swipe so that'd be really cool actually um and then the other thing was that or that I was thinking was that, you know, the it could have just taken place in the monastery because 
they needed a location to do it because Tommy, um, his original tweet of the picture was like, if this tweet gets 300 likes, then we'll talk more about it at Comic-Con. So they weren't always planning to from what that, that sort of tells me that maybe they weren't planning to, um, show that scene off and then they were like oh shoot now we actually have to like do this so they sort of just made the set the monastery because they had it on hand um i don't know or the special happens after the time travel special and the monastery gets rebuilt from that or something because hands of time the finale took place there and a lot of season seven did so it would it would make sense actually um you know maybe it gets rebuilt similar to the Temple of Erejutsu, how it kind of stuck around, or it, it got changed after uh, Skybound. So, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I'm excited for season, or for next year. Um, it's looking to be really fun. Um, none of the stuff they talked about, the specials, or the special getting to 100 episodes, or the two other specials that were... Um, um, they don't really count as season 10. I still think the season 10 is going to be about the Oni. Um, so we might not actually get that next year. That might be in a later year, or 2020, I guess. Um, I mean, I'd like it next year, but it makes sense if they get, if, you know, I think they should really focus on this whole four-episode special. And I, I think I'm going to personally enjoy that special a lot. And then the other thing they showed off was a lot of like concept art for season nine and sort of talking about that specifically, which is kind of weird because in some parts of the world, season nine is over. Um, and in the U.S., it's airing August 11th, so mark your calendars. Um, I know I'm going to be rewatching it um, on August 11th and, you know, continuing forward whenever it airs. Or they might just release the whole thing on one day. Um, they did that with Sons of Carmadon. Either way, I'm going to rewatch the whole thing. So, yeah. You should too, because that's how they know that people still watch the show, and that's how it continues, is ratings. It's really important. Um, yeah. So, that's kind of it for me, I think. If you have anything else to say on the event, or just uh, Ninjago 2019, in general, uh, feel free to talk about it in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys later. Bye.